Everybody knows what I was talking about. Everybody will know exactly what I was talking about. Talking about the one on the solo, the one on the solo shoes. Whenever something happens, you can count on Pepe. And I think one of the things I see also is he transforms very easily because when I worked with him in the Federation, he was more like a Federation colleague rather than a PNS representative. <laughs> Baby is one of those people Abbas would say if you cut his veins, you could easily find IFRC written in his blood. Please remember us. And if there are any good things that come your way that you think uh, will benefit uh, the Kenyan people and Kenya Red Cross, we'll be happy to hear from you. And what I like about your ways of working is you don't really differentiate who is who. You say it's all Red Cross. And I think this is what I, I've learned from you. So thank you very much. I'm really... Oh, Pepe, a delegate and, uh, and a gentleman. Um, I have to say that we have had uh, very good relations with, uh, with Pepe. Memories of Pepe is uh, a gentleman who is always willing to look for solutions, uh, however difficult the situation is. And I think as managers, our work is uh, mainly problem solving and communication and I have to say that Pepe has done very well in that. 27 years of one's life in an organization is not a small time. Uh, maybe there are many of you in this, in this audience that are just close 27 or just <laughs> passing 27. I'm not to be sure that Pepe is that old. But, <laughs> uh, but just say, so 27 years in the Red Cross is a very long time, can also be a very short time. As, uh, as a volunteer, for seven years using his own money, but also for 20 years now as a paid staff of the Red Cross. Uh, having worked uh, for the International Federation and having worked for the Finnish Red Cross. Uh, I say this with, with all humility and all sincerity, that what Pepe brought to the Finnish Red Cross uh, delegation here is maturity, is responsibility, is age, is experience. And you don't gain this from the books that we read, we could be you know, professors, PhDs, and all that. But I would say uh, that uh, during tough times, uh, Pepe, you could rely on him to give you advice, whether you take it or not, it's up to you. <laughs> uh, but even other times, he spoke his mind and spoke with that humility. So, from where we sit, we can say with Kenya Red Cross, the relationship with the Finnish Red Cross is enriched, it has grown, it probably will continue to grow. New areas have been opened up, uh, whether it's in logistics, whether it's in supply chain, whether it is. Uh, in health, whether now it's in food security, uh, other areas. And I think, as James said, it was always with that, and Asha, that it was always been with that smile that um, you sometimes don't know even when he's angry. And probably he's, he's 
perfected the art of maybe hiding that anger. Uh, but it's for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. You like will increase the weight on your on your baggage. <laughs> <laughs> but since you may have something to drive home and there's a card that goes with it that some people have signed. Even some golf sticks here <laughs> to go and play with the young ones when you're barbecuing as you and the summer is now in good time and anyway. They come and they go. They come and go. That's <laughs> that's how it is. <laughs> so are fully sort of we are not professors in in Red Cross, Red Crescent. And that's a that's a lot of fun also. I do thank the Kenya Red Cross. I hope to be somehow involved. I've been a volunteer for 27 years and I continue being volunteer. Perhaps doing, doing something else, but anyway, for sure being a volunteer. And what Abba said about uh, the fi Finland and Finnish Red Cross, I already have made some queries, so, so I will be involved. First time to that also. Okay, now, how would I do it? You don't even need to do it. So I go from here. Try any side. It's time he does it now. Excellent. See, he knows how to cut it. I'm extremely honored. It is nice to see all these people here. All the Kenyan Rector's people, all my PNS colleagues. It's been my pleasure also, I have been really honored to, to hear these speeches from Asha, from Edgar Tabas, uh, James Kisia and Susan. Uh, it's been, uh, I'm a little bit shy actually, actually uh, listening to all, all this of course, because I am, uh, uh, I, I do feel that I'm just another sort of a working man in the Red Cross, Red Cross movement, so, so to hear all this it's uh, a little bit almost like embarrassing, but on the other hand it's my last long-term mission, so, so I'm happy, I'm extremely happy. Always volunteered and now when I go back I will not uh, continue as a paid staff, but I will continue as a volunteer. Yeah.